Welcome back. It is time to meet up with our friends over at Moncus Park. And joining us virtually today, we have Mark Hernandez. He's the grounds director over there. And Mark, we're learning all about the new entrance beds and the native plants in there. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hi, Taylor. Excuse the, uh, the sound of the vehicles. We're at the main entrance here at Moncus Park. Uh, and we're standing near one of our uh, beds that we've transitioned this last year from a more conventional type landscape uh, to a, na a, a strictly native bed. I love um, that. And so, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful showstopper. It really shows the public uh, how, when it's designed properly, native plants can really be a, a, an eye catcher. Uh, and, and really, the thing that we like about using natives is that they're a little bit more resilient. The summer that we had last yeah. year was not very was not very pleasant on some of the other uh, plant species in the park. Uh, and when we saw that the natives were really just responded beautifully to the 115 degrees, no rain, we decided to go ahead and, and transition more of our landscape into native plants. I uh, love so that. this bed is, uh, is, is provided by a, a grant from the Keep Louisiana Beautiful. Okay. Um, and we've planted over 50 species of different types of blooming flowers out here. This is called Rattlesnake Master. Uh, and this is a plant that the Native Americans would have used uh, to put on their moccasins when these seed heads dry up. They make like a rattling sound. Oh. Uh, the Native Americans would have would have put this on their moccasins to keep the rattlesnakes away as they walk through the woods and the prairies. That's so cool. Yeah. And so each plant has a, has a little bit of a story. This is rosin weed. It's kind of like a sunflower. Uh, they bloom on and off all summer long. Uh, we deadhead them, which means cutting off the flowers okay. up as they're spent, and the flowers will come right back. Nice. What else is there? This is a uh, goldstrom rutabecki. It's a it's a oh. cone flower. It's it's um it blooms about four times a year. Um, and all of these plants will drop seed and create their own babies for next year. Okay. Uh, so plants to, to expand your gardens and or share with your friends. I love that. These are so cool. And we were talking a little bit in the break too. These native plants are so important, especially for those pollinators. Yeah, let's walk a little bit. We'll see some. Um, some uh, uh, bee balm and they're full of bees. Yeah. These are more, more rutabachios. We have got irises. Uh, this is a plant called Mexican hat. Um, we have different textures, different heights, so you'll have different interests interest, yeah. uh, as the, the season progresses. It's amazing. There's so many different native plants that you guys have in these entrance beds. It's so fun to see. Yep. This is one called Gora. It's kind of a, uh, a sprawling type plant. Okay. Um, makes two old white flowers. Oh, this those one are found in the, uh, in the marshes or in the creeks. Uh, this is inland sea oats. And this is the one we were talking about that's great for pollinators. Yeah. Uh, the scientific name is Minorda. It's a bee balm. Uh, I don't know if you can see the bees up there, but the bees are just going crazy. Each one of these little flowers will be a, uh, about 500 seeds per flower. Uh, so next year it will just continue to spread. They're super easy. Uh, once they're established, you don't have to worry too much about them. Yeah. Not a whole lot of uh, attention is needed. So yeah. And Mark, we're out of time, but what's that website for our friends at home to learn more about the park? It is muckuspark.org. As always, thank you so much for educating us and giving us a tour of the plant beds. Love learning. Y'all, if you want to learn more about Moncus Park, head to our website, kdn.com. Everything you need is right there. We'll be right back after this.